everyone <clears throat> welcome to online math classes uh, please subscribe my channel and like my videos and your homework is uploaded in the description box please check it so let's start with today's topic that is expanded form and corresponding form of a number so i will make you understand with an example that is a rubber band so i am stretching this rubber band or you can say i am expanding the size of this rubber band so same as we can expand the number as well let's see how we have learned in the place value system about the placing of a number for an example 197 in 197 7 is in ones place 9 is in tens place and 1 is in hundred place so how we can expand it we know that 197 is having 100 9 tens means 90 and 7 ones means 7 so we can expand it like this so this is the expanded form of 197 that mean 197 is having 100 9 tens means 90 and 7 ones so that is the expanded form of 197 now let's take another example that is 152 So in one in number one hundred fifty two, we are having one hundred five tens means fifty and two ones means two. So how we can expand it like this? So right now we are having one hundred fifty means five tens, or you can say two ones is two. So we can say hundred plus fifty plus two is equal to one hundred fifty two. So this is the expanded form of a number. Now we will learn what is corresponding form. When we merge the number in their placing, that is called corresponding form of number. So we will merge this num uh, number into a corresponding form. So here we can say that hundred. Now We can place them one hundred fifty-two according to their position one tens or hundred. So now five is in tens place, two is in ones place. So this is the corresponding form of one hundred fifty-two. Now one is in hundred place, five is in tens place, two is in ones place. This is the corresponding form, and this is the expanded form. That's all about this topic. I hope you have enjoyed. Thank you so much.